God. Time of deliverance eventually came for the children of Israel. Just as the Lord had promised. It took a long time, but it came to be. We want to thank the Lord for the salvation of our soul. Jesus Christ came to set us free. God had promised back in the Garden of Eden that he will undo the fall of man, and he did it. That's why we're gathered together. Let's open our mouth and bless the Lord. As Israel came out of Egypt, after a long while of bondage, we are out. Why don't you bless the Lord? Why don't you show appreciation? And if you have been following, just listening, just being in the church, without experiencing genuine deliverance from the bondage of sins, isn't this a moment to go to the Lord in prayer and bring yourself? There is promised deliverance. The Bible says, for God so loved the world, he gave his only begotten son, whosoever believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Pray, or are you getting wearied on the way? Don't let the lot of the mixed multitude befall you. Make up your mind. We've come out of the world. We are heading to Canaan land. Heaven is the goal. We cannot perish midway. Make up your mind. Don't be blinded by the distractions around. Don't forget we are pilgrims. Our journey is not complete until we get to our destination. No one knows the time. The trumpet will sound, we are told. It could happen any moment. Even while we are in this retreat, God hasn't told us when, but the signs are here with us. Make up your mind. I have come out of Egypt. I have come out from the world. I will make it to Canaan land, to heaven. I will be ready when the trumpet shall sound. Open your mouth and pray. Talk to the Lord. Talk to the Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Earlier today, we were told about our glorious escape. Escape from sin, from sickness, and from Satan, from sodomy. The wall we can even see today. It is it is Sodom indeed. But the Lord had given to us glorious escape already. And we're going to escape whole. We will escape like the Lord came out of Sodom. But we want to pray that the Lord will hold our hands until we get to that final point. We are not going to look back. We have determined. We will not allow the love of anything of this world to stand between us and our escape. Let's go to the Lord in prayer. Talk to the Lord. You will diligently hearken to the voice of the Lord. You will do according to all he has commanded. He says he's going to not allow any one of the sickness or disease of Egypt upon us because he is the Lord who continuously heals us. We've escaped from the lot of the world. Open 
open your mouth and pray. You belong to Jesus and perhaps you are sick. That's not your portion. Perhaps you are facing an affliction from the devil. That is not your portion. You can pray. You can call on God. You can claim what belongs to you. Pray to the Lord. In Jesus' name, we pray. Also earlier today, we've seen deliverance from the worldliness around and canality want to pray. The Lord wants to assure us that if we hold on to him and we're not looking here and there, we will be delivered from the ultimate destruction that is coming to the world. The Bible says, so that we may be blameless if we are out from the world and the things of the world don't hold us down, what the Bible says is that we will be harmless, the true sons and daughters of God, without rebuke, in the midst of a crooked and perverse nation, among whom we should shine as light in the world. I want you to go to the Lord and say, Lord, I have come at your feet in this retreat. I want to shine as light in a darkened world. A world gets darker and darker. But you can pray. The holiness experience can be yours indeed. It will not just be words of mouth. The power that purifies, that takes the stone of the heart away and gives us a heart of flesh, that is possible when you pray. The Lord wants to take us out of the world and the world out of us. Every allurement, every enticement, every ambition, every liking for the world, love for the world, wanting things of the world, liking things of the world. The Bible says, love not the world, neither the things, the things of the world. They cannot appear beautiful to us. They cannot appear like what we must have. And then we are about to mortgage eternal life for those things. The day the world will get out of our hearts. Let's pray. We will not look back. We will not get to a point of indecision whether to continue or not. Nothing will separate us from the love of God. In Jesus' name we pray. Also tonight, because we're supposed to have our daily prayers, and we're not going to have that, so we're going to spend the next two minutes to pray. Concerning Second Chronicles chapter 4, and particularly towards the end of that chapter, we are told in Second Chronicles chapter 4, if I read verse 19, and Solomon, Solomon made all the vessels that were for the house of God, the golden altar also, and the tables whereon the showbread was. Moreover, the candlesticks with their lamps that they should burn after the manner before the oracle of pure gold and the flowers and the lamps and the tongues made he of gold and that perfect gold. You know what the Bible says in a great house? There are not only vessels of gold and of silver, but it talks of wood and stubble. But it said, if a man therefore will purge himself, he will be a vessel to honor. That's what the Lord wants. Solomon gave abundance. He made abundance, vessel in abundance of gold. What is, what are we made of? I want us to pray. 
vessels of gold, vessels of honor in this time of the Lord. Open your mouth, dedicate yourself. If a man purges himself, it will be a vessel unto honor. In Jesus' name we pray. Say a bigger amen. Father, we thank you. Bless your name for the messages we've heard. Indeed, it's been a time to sit at the feet of our Lord Jesus Christ to just take in your word. Lord, this is where our strength lies. So that when we go back from here, Lord, we'll be able to do this work according to the plan, the, the revelation of your will given to us. Help us, Lord, that none of us will miss any one thing that you still have to pour into our lives during this retreat in the name of jesus and lord as we hear Amen. and as we pray lord they'll become part of us until we make it to the our final destination in the name of jesus thank you lord Amen. for answers to our prayers in jesus name we pray amen